Hi folks, I'm Max from GalaxyNote2.com for this week's ROM of the week. Check out Carbon ROM Android 4.3. This is actually my daily driver now. Um, I was actually running ProBAM for like uh, last whole week and then I switched to, um, recently I switched to Carbon ROM. I really love it. Uh, it is available at AT&T Mobile Sprint, Verizon, GTN 7100, GTN 7105, Canadian. So all of you can get benefit from this. Let me kind of show you, let me see if you notice uh, some of the stuff. Um, see those transition animations? Now, this transition animations, um, you can actually customize. Um, so these are all custom uh, transition animations that I chose, uh, which is really nice. And let me show you how to do that. If you go to system settings, carbon fibers, uh, if you go to animations, you can change all of these animations. So I have them all custom set just the way I like them. Uh, animation duration, all of this, this just alone just is mind blowing. I love it because I always love transition animations. But, but now Carbon ROM is bringing uh, the customization to the user. Um, so you can have all these different animations. Um, you can slide from the right, slide from the left, uh, translucent, all of this, um, and also even prevent app overrides. Um, so you can use it on any app, so which is a uh, really excellent stuff. Um, let me show you some other small stuff I found on this uh, ROM. If you type like numbers, um, you'll see that it kind of pops up all there, which is kind of nice. Please don't call these numbers. Uh, but you can kind of see all these numbers pop up, uh, which is very nice. Um, kind of see, you know, and then you can just press the numbers you want to play. Um, so that's kind of a little extra feature there. Uh, and also, of course, this is running the latest Android 4.3. And running pretty darn solid, and I really, really like it. Um, camera working flawless out of the box. If you want Photosphere, you can go ahead and grab the Photosphere APK and install right over it. Uh, so very nice stuff. And let me show you the core of, I know some of you are into customizing and stuff. Uh, make sure you set it to dark carbon if you want to save some battery life. Um, since AMOLED screen on the Note 2 saves battery uh, when you have uh, black pixels in the background, it uses zero energy, unlike LCDs. That's one of the good things about it. Uh, that's the animations. Um, you get floating halo notifications from Parent and Android, uh, all of that there, and also interface. Um, slightly different from AOKP, you can set custom buttons here, um, so you can change uh, what the buttons do for your custom buttons. Change the density if you want to run it in tablet mode, you can go ahead and um, do that. Uh, follow the directions there. Uh, your recent RAM bar and stuff like that. I really like that um, you can actually move the, the clearing bar uh, anywhere you want. So right now it's on bottom left. I can put it top right if I want. Um, then I can have the kill all button up here, which is very nice. I'm so awesome. Uh, also, let me go ahead and show you some of the other stuff you can do with the lock screen. Um, you got the glow pad torch, uh, sort of like AOKP. And also active display, this is sort of new. It's kind of like, uh, it shows all notifications ongoing um, around the ring. Um, so this is something to play with. And also sunlight mode inverts the colors when in areas with uh, bright light such as direct sunlight. So that is kind of nice. It may help you read things better when you're in super bright. Uh, and again, more button um, stuff you can do there. And also you can set shortcuts here um, to your Gmail, your camera, your any applications you want. Um, you can set it all here. Go ahead and set it to my uh, Google Plus here. And make sure you hit the check button. Um, so that's navig uh, lock screen. So these are all similar to AOKB. Slightly different features though, as you've probably noticed. A status bar, um, you can have, it, it'll actually show you 4G icon. Let me show you here. Uh, and also you can change the battery, clock, notifications, power widget, toggles. This is where you can change your quick toggles, um, you know, your quick toggles here. And let me go ahead and show you my 4G LTE. Um, I've got it on my AT&T Note 2. Um, it, 4G LTE works just fine. And uh, you'll get 4G up here instead of 4G LTE. So don't be bothered by that. Um, if you want to check if you actually have LTE, just go to about phone and status, and this will show you that you are actually on LTE. Um, so make sure, um, you know, don't don't freak out because you don't have 4G LTE signal there. Um, that's completely normal. And let me give you a little quick speed test to prove you to that I am on 4G LTE. There we go. And uh, AT&T is pretty darn fast, almost 10, 10 megabits. 
I usually get like 20, 30 outside of my house. This is my in my basement office, so it may be a little bit slower than outside. Uh, but as you can see, I get fairly good scores for download, which is what matters the most. Uh, upload, not too much, unless you're gonna upload a bunch of files on BitTorrent or something. Um, overall, very nice ROM, very nice set of customizations. Also, you can install Flash Player and have Flash Player working on your browser, just like I did here. Um, so I've got that working here. And uh, let me get, just load up my site here, androidroot.org, which uses Flash, and uh, Flash should be working out of the box uh, with the APK. I'll have the APK also posted on my site. Now, if you've been using Paranoid Android, uh, you know, hybrid settings often on Paranoid Android ROM or Pac-Man ROM, and you want to keep uh, being able to customize your... Um, your Gmail, like this is like the phone default, but you want it, the fonts a little bit smaller. Now you can't do this with this ROM, but you can actually do it just by installing uh, Expose App Settings app manually. I also have a full tutorial guide on that, so if you need to run your apps in tablet phone mode, um, you can definitely do that uh, even without Paranoid Android settings. Um, so definitely uh, a ton of stuff you can do. So, you know, check it out for this week's ROM I really love it. Uh, great battery life, great performance. Out of the box, DSP manager if you want to tweak the sound. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So go ahead and check it out for this week's ROM Week Carbon ROM Android 4.3. These guys, I've been actually watching them. Um, I think they actually did start with the Note 2. Uh, some of their, you know, first versions were very buggy or, you know, some problems with it. But now they've become like one of the best ROMs, I think, um, out there. So definitely 4.3, um, you can't go wrong with Carbon ROM, one of the best out there. Uh, so check it out for this week's uh, ROM of the Week and do let me know. And as always, if you have a Note 2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week uh, with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button there. And I will uh, see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.